Hello and welcome to The Drum. I'm Steve Kinane. Coming up, who should compensate graziers after the halt to live exports? Why Tony Abbott thinks Nauru is more humane than the Malaysian solution? And is slut a word that can ever be re reclaimed by women? Our panel tonight, Four Corners reporter Sarah Ferguson, barrister and political commentator Greg O'Mani, and in Melbourne, Chris Berg from the Institute of Public Affairs. Well, Australia's National Livestock Authority is under growing pressure to compensate the cattle industry as an inquiry begins into the live animal trade. Heading up the review, review will be former Ambassador to Indonesia, Bill Farmer. He's due to report back to the federal government by August, but there's no word on when the suspension of live cattle exports sparked by the Four Corners report on animal cruelty in, in Indonesian abattoirs might be lifted. Agriculture Minister Joe Ludwig wants Meat and Livestock Australia to release emergency funding to beef producers, and if they don't agree, he may force the issue. What I've asked them to do is to provide a contingency fund of $5 million to provide immediate uh, assistance to those people who are onshore, uh, the cattle producers who have got uh, adjustment fees, cattle feeding uh, issues, all of the above, are what I've asked them to do, uh, and of course I'm waiting for their response. Their early response doesn't look positive, quite frankly. It looks like they're actually going to say no. Uh, I will then use my direction powers if that's the case. The chairman of the Australian Beef Association, John Carter, has welcomed the minister's latest comments, but he's told ABC News 24 there's $100 million of producers' money that Meat and Livestock Australia should release immediately for compensation, or they may face a class action after their company, which has become increasingly divorced from the real world. Um, they, they, they haven't been looking after the industry. We've, uh, we've got the lowest cattle prices in the developed world now, and our domestic consumption has dropped by 20% under their stewardship. Mm. It's been a disaster. Sarah, it was your story that led the government to halt uh, live exports to Indonesia. Who should be compensating the graziers? Well... There's two groups of people involved in this, Steve. There's obviously the government. They've had res they have the final responsibility for, for this. For years, they've actually been putting money into those facilities that we saw in the program. 